that you're talking about the pressure test at DOTF or deep ocean test facility um, and um, the strain and AE tests, correct? Yes, correct. Yes. So there was a series, uh, we, we went to the DOTF for, and we did four days of testing. And the first two days were specific to the felicity ratio testing. So we had a, a test profile that uh, mimicked uh, felicity ratio um, parameters. Um, and then after those two days, then uh, the third and fourth day, we went to the titanic depth. So we went um, straight up to the titanic depth, um, or straight down, I guess, and then held that for about you know, six, seven hours, and then back down to surface, surface depth. Um, and we did, so we did that for two days. Um, and so that was, that was the basic testing, pressure testing that we did um, for, the, for the full size Titanic hull. And were you there in person? Did you? I, I was, yes. Can you describe the third scale model testing? Uh, sure. So we did similar pressure testing for the third scale models. We built two of them. Um, and I believe that the first date was uh, July 26th in 2020, yes, July 26, 2020. Um, and the first scale model we tested to, I think it only made it to about 2,800 meters. We had a, a similar profile. I, I don't have the, those tests in front of me. Um, I didn't get them, but um, I know that it failed, that um, we were, um, I think it was the, we would normally do an AM session and a PM session. So we would do a, a four hour test profile in the morning. And then after lunch, we would do another four hour tests. And I believe it was in the PM session that we got to, and I can't remember the exact depth, but it was probably around 2,800 meters. And all of a sudden we could see the strain start to move and we could see the AE just go nuts and then followed by an ear splitting bang that you know, was you know ringing in the ears and um, pretty pretty uh, catastrophic failure um, when we when we brought brought the uh, the third scale model out of the test chamber um, we had had it enclosed in a Teflon bag to keep the shards of carbon fiber from um, damaging their test facility and what had happened was that um, it had imploded inwards and it had um, pulled that bag inside the third scale model. It was kind of interesting. Um, also interesting was that it did not break into shards, that there was just one tear that started out in the axial direction. It went about 10 inches and then went in the radial direction um, so it was almost a right angle tear that ripped into this third scale hull. Um, so that, that was the first test. Um, the second, so we built a, a second third scale model and we ran two tests on that. The first test uh, did not work because we had a leak in the ceiling of the end caps and we, it kept leaking pressure so we had to uh, Take it, take it out and fix the leak. Um, and that was done by um, a person named Kenny Haig, operations person. He fixed the, the leak on the second, uh, third scale hull. And then we went back, I believe on August 20th of 2020. And we tested the second uh, third scale model. And it, it actually did not, it did not make it to the rated depth that we wanted to. It, it made it to about the same depth, but it did not implode. Um, Stockton, we were, uh, we would broadcast the, uh, the computer screens via Zoom or Teams to uh, Stockton's office. And so we were all watching in real time and he, uh, he had us um, bring down the pressure um, once it was very clear that it was starting to fail. So. Um, so it, it didn't fail, but it didn't make it to the, the depth that we wanted it to. Um, so, you know, we, we knew that, you know, we had to do something different because it, was, it wasn't working.
Um, the the uh, the issue on those two, we there were not they were not multi cure. They were just single cure, and um, they we did not do the the same technique that we did with the full size hull, which was like I said the the multi cure and the um, after every cure. Um, smoothing out any any bubbles or imperfections in the in each layer um, so so that that's basically kind of the synopsis of the third scale testing and there should be reports on that um, that are that are on the servers somewhere um, I don't have them I, I unfortunately didn't get those I didn't get all of them but uh, but there should be reports on those um, and um, then, uh, so that, that's, that's basically kind of the, the summary of the third scale testing.